Hello. In this presentation, we will create a summary balance sheet within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been following along with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. If not, that's okay. We're going to talk about how to create a summary balance sheet. If you have the backup, you can restore the backup by going to File and Restore. We have the Open Windows tab open, which can be found at the View and Open Windows list. We also have the home page open found at company and home page. We're going to be looking at the summary balance sheet. And in order to look at the summary balance sheet, first want to compare and contrast it to the balance sheet most typically used, the one that we have been working with, the standard balance sheet. So let's open the standard balance sheet first and then work some comparisons by going to the drop down up top for the reports, Selecting company and financial and going down to the balance sheet. This is the standard balance sheet. We're going to create it as of the date of 12-31-21. So here's the date, December 31st, 2021. We have the standard balance sheet. Now, you'll note that the standard balance sheet has a lot of detail in it. Now, we, we can compress some of this stuff and look at it in terms of less detail, saying here's all the current assets or compress some of these items to see less detail. But many times we might want to give someone, we might want to just not bog someone down. If I don't want to bog someone down with too much information, especially if I have set up an account that has a lot of subcategories to, or in order to process my information. There's sometimes I want to get to the accounts and have a lot of accounts so that I know exactly what is going on, so that I can see what's happening, especially if it's something like investments down here. I might have a lot of subcategory accounts because I'm tracking each individual investment and I would like to see that detail. But if I'm giving this information to someone else, it's quite possible that I do not want to overwhelm someone else with all that detail. And instead of just compressing that detail and summing them up, we could print some other report, another report, a summary balance sheet, which will show less detail, be less overwhelming to somebody else. And really, in order to know which reports you need, you got to know who your audience is. And it's really important to know who your audience is because sometimes some people want a lot of detail, sometimes they don't. If you're going to uh, some, especially like some business owners or managers and you want to just uh, get the information to them and they want the bottom line, then we don't want a lot of subcategories. So we're just going to give a summary, but we'll have all the subcategories ready in another report, most likely, once they start asking questions about a particular line item. So we're going to go down here and go to reports in order to get a summary and go to the company and financial and then go to the uh, balance sheet summary. And by contrast, if we look at this, change the date to 12-31-21, we see we have a lot less information here, meaning we just got the checking account, accounts receivable, and the other current assets. If we compare that going back to the balance sheet, where we had the checking account in the checking account area, then the accounts receivable, then the other current assets broken out into these subcategories. And again, if we had uh, more detailed and into more detailed accounts, this can go on for quite some time in terms of the detail. And if we go back to the summary, this is this is nice and neat and and easy to see. It's a very it's almost too compressed. Now, if we give this to somebody, then that's often a good starting point, and it's often something that we can say, hey, here's this and then be ready for them to ask any more information to follow up with uh, with the more detailed balance sheet so we can break down any information that is needed. I'm going to go up to the customized report up top and do some customization here. We're going to get into the habit of first going to the filters, then going to the header. I'm going to remove the date prepared, time prepared, report basis, and go back to the font. And we might want to get in the practice of putting a name down here if, if that's something that uh, we want to just uh, always get in the practice of. It might be something that we just uh, want to have a footer all the time in some format. And then the fonts, I'll keep the fonts the same and OK. I'm going to go ahead and export this to Excel. We already have an Excel file open, so we want to just put it to a new tab on that same Excel file by going to the Excel dropdown create a new worksheet it's going to go into an existing workbook but we want a new worksheet and we're going to say okay and here is our create new worksheet we want it in an existing workbook however so we'll select that item then we'll browse 
And we're going to look for that workbook. I'm going to select the drop down, Get Great Guitars, Section 2. And I'm just going to, we could click on it and open. I'm going to double click on it. And uh, then we'll export it. And that should open a new Excel sheet, open a new tab, put this information, export this information to that new tab. Once it's done, we'll do our normal processing in that we're going to pull this tab over to the right hand side so it's in order of when we generated these reports just by clicking it and grabbing it and dragging it on over. Then I'm going to double click on it to change the name and I'm going to call it summary balance sheet, something like that. And OK. And then I'm going to go to our normal items up here and go to the view uh, tab up top windows and unsplit the screen and then just check out down here go to the page layout view to see if it's going to print the way we would like it and if we go there we can see we do have the header here and it's laid out it fits all on one page it looks nice of course it should it's a summary so we're okay there so i'm going to go back to the normal and there it is and then let's save that and say okay and close that and there is the summary balance sheet.